Hi folks, so today we're going to install a new ROM, uh, Mi, Mi X Droid Mod. Um, actually, I got tired of being on stock OTA again uh, and rooted my phone. By the way, you can root your phone at g2hex.com. Just follow my method there. It still works on the latest latest OTA update. Um, so, copy over the two files. Uh, I'll have links below. Uh, this is the Mi X Droid Mod Mi X Peria. Um, anyway, interesting ROM name, but um, I want to try it out. So first, after you copy over all the files, um, turn off USB, uh, if it's on, turn it off. And then make sure you have a ROM manager. I'm going to go download it right now because uh, I just rooted this phone again. It took me like five minutes. My second time rooting the phone. Download ROM manager, free, okay. Um, and ROM, open ROM manager. I'm gonna have to flash uh, the ROM man, uh, recovery. Click OK, OK. Um, flash clockwork mod recovery because I don't think I have it. Um, cause I, yeah, and then confirm HCC G2. And it's gonna flash the uh, clockwork mod recovery if you haven't done if you did this before you don't have to but this one I've unrooted it and then rooted it again so that's why I have to do it for the first time and then to install new ROM allow um, basically what you're gonna do is install ROM from SD card and go find the file I told you to copy over which is the me x droid mod me Xperia that thing and v4x apps so we're gonna Flash, um, ah, no. You know what? Let's do this. Since we have to, uh, we have to zip two files, otherwise it's gonna reboot and then come here. So let's reboot into recovery. And then we'll flash files from there. That way we can zip the two files at once. Hi, right, folks. So what we're gonna do is, uh, <clears throat> make sure you've backed up all your stuff if you haven't. And then uh, let's go wipe data factory reset. And then, and then what we're gonna do is uh, um, actually, you know what? Let me show you how to back up stuff first. Uh, what you're gonna do is uh, I want to back up this rooted uh, latest stock ROM. So you can go to backup restore, hit backup, and then it's gonna uh, basically basically um, back up everything you have, apps and whatnot. I'll be back after this is done complete uh, backing up. Hi all folks, so backup is done. So anytime you want to go back to it, uh, you can go to backup and restore and restore. And it's going to be time stamped. I've saved some other ROMs that I had also. But uh, today's date is 6-6, 2011, June 6, uh, the time. Um, so let's go install the new ROM. Now we can wipe Data Factory Reset and not have to worry about it and go to, yes, delete all user data. And uh, this should take like three seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer. Um, come on. Anyway, I'm going to try to review a bunch of different ROMs. Uh, you can check out all the ROM reviews. You don't have to go install it. Uh, I'll be trying. Actually, I'm going to do one per day. Maybe try it out for a day and see how the battery lasts and, you know, how fast it is and, you know, overclock it and go through every one of them out there. And uh, after that, what we're going to do is uh, wipe cache partition and just wipe cache. Uh, and also you can go wipe Dali cache too um, just to make it super clear uh, doo -doo -doo, advanced and wipe Dali cache um, and also this guy told me to wipe battery status to do two I don't know why so let's just do that battery status and then let's go finally install the ROM choose zip from SD card and then go find the 
me extroid mod me xperia uh, blah blah dot zip hit the menu button and then hit the menu button again and now we're installing the new ROM so I'll be back um, when this is done Hi right, folks so that is done and next we're gonna go zip the uh, you have to zip also the apps um, so go and find the apps um, where is it it's called a v4x v4x apps.zip hit the center button and then that should do it and it shouldn't take too long um, anyway there's a bunch of different ROMs for G2 um, they're all pretty cool uh, I guess now go back and reboot system now and I'll be back when this reboots maybe I can show you the animation screen if it's no I'll be back the boot up screen it looks pretty cool me extroid like that sounds like me ex destroyed. Me ex Me ex Yeah, me. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'll be back when this boots up. Hi, yo, folks. So I've got the uh, the uh, me ex ROM here. Um, let me show you. The buttons are kind of futuristic. Uh, the font is uh, kind of futuristic font. Um, this is basically off the Cyanogen mod, but it's supposed to be so super fast, I guess. So let's run a uh, Limpack real quick. This is stock without, but I think you can overclock it. Um, so let's get what we get at 800 megahertz. 22, not too bad. Um, I'll go overclock it real quick. Hold on. Got the set CPU app. Let's see how much uh, this kernel. I think it's to 1.5 probably. You know what? Ugh. I don't know why I can't even I can't even change the bar. This is happening to the Cyanogen mod. Uh, any current ROMs based on it, which means I can't I can't do anything here. Right, let me try taking this out. Oh, there we go. Now it's working finally. Um, so let me overclock it to the maximum. I really, I I'm not. Sh this is like something wrong. Anyway, it's it's one at one point four um, seven eight. Let's just set up boot. Let's go run Limpack again. Um, should be faster. I have all my sync turned off. Um, hmm, Twenty five point eight four three. Okay. Twenty six. 25. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Let me run quadrant real quick. Run full benchmark. So, I'll be back when this is done. So it is done. Let's compare. Somebody was telling me they're getting pretty good numbers. I got 1852. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Um and let me show you what apps it comes with. It comes with a battery uh, calibration uh, calibrator. Um, I just turned that on. We'll see how that works. And also, um, FM radio, gallery. Um, see, it's not, it's not doing that random press thing. I don't know why, but Google Talk. Um, show you settings about phone okay now it's working I think 2.3.4 it has Google Talk voice oh let's shift it does does it have it? it should it should work fine yeah yeah it does there we go you, you see the uh, that sign that means it's working so I've got the launcher pro there it comes with two launchers um, there's two launchers on this one. Do do do. Let's see. Let's go to theme preferences. See that? It's doing that. It's. I don't know what's. It, every ROM based on CM7 is doing that on me. 
That's why I unrooted it the other day, but but good thing I have a touch button. Just do that. <laughs> um So I guess you can get a bunch of themes through that app. Okay, it's just wigging out on me. So tired of this. Um let me see. Social jug. Um It's not a bad ROM I guess. Let's see if the camera is working. Yes, cameras working. Okay, camera works fine. Um, it's working. Okay. All right. So that's uh, just a short review of the um, Mi X Droid ROM. Uh, if you want me to review any certain ROMs, just leave me a note or if you think there's a great ROM you were using already. Um, I'm going to go try this out for today and see how the battery goes. I can't believe the battery's still on 100. <laughs> I've been using it for like 10 minutes straight here. Okay, so that's it. See y'all later.